And there are some folks, listen, if you think for one second as an ex-trad wife that you do not have skills in the financial management space, think about who kept the lights on and who made sure everybody ate and there were still funds left over to take care of emergencies. That was you. Okay? Remember, that's you. All right, guys, let's take a look and see what financial management or any and what are the skills that you could possibly use in that industry. Stay tuned. Awesome folks, this is Mentor Shelly wanting to make sure that you become a better version of yourself professionally, guys. Listen, I want you to understand, do not feel like you're an imposter. Don't feel like you're an imposter, okay? You have the skills, you just don't realize you have them. If you keep track, I want to go over three different things you were already doing in the household and that can be used in the financial management space okay budgeting and allocation you are already allocating funds for entertainment for utilities for household um, supplies groceries you name it you were allocating funds for and, and if there was not enough funds to allocate for those things then you made sure you worked it in the budget to be able to allocate for those things, including savings and emergencies and things of that nature. Remember, you are already doing this for your household. So now it's time to use those skills to financial, help a company financially plan. So it could be financial planners. Um, you could be a financial planner for a company. You can help them um, in the areas of accounting, bookkeeping, things of that nature. Don't think for one second um, that you don't have the skills. You were already using those skills. It was ju it's just going to be used in a different way. Number two skills. You were, you were tracking expenses to make sure you know, okay, where is every dollar going? Is, is it really going towards what we set the budget for it to go or was it going somewhere else? Listen, you were already managing the finances of the home where... Okay, you said X number of dollars is supposed to go for renting um, movies or to pay for entertainment, whether it be free entertainment or the cable and internet or whatever it is. Um, you want to make sure it wasn't being spent on um, food outside the home versus cooking. You're tracking expenses to see where the money is going so you can either tighten up something you know you can fix some of the bottlenecks or you if you see dollars floating away in one area and needs to be tightened up then you can fix those things you are doing that for your household you can also do that for an employer or you can do that for your clients if you want to start a business um, with bookkeeping or financial planning and things of that nature you can also look into um, getting into the financial services where you're providing um, fixed and variable annuities and um, different types of life insurance products getting those type of licenses in your state is is actually a fairly short period of time and there are companies like Prime America and, and other companies um, that offer those services I'm gonna actually have some of those representatives it be interviewed on this channel later on down in the quarter now that's what budgeting and allocation expense expense tracking and analysis to three the thing the third thing financial problem solving if you were budgeting and allocating for a lot of other things, you're allocating also for emergencies. Okay, there's an emergency fund for a reason. Because unexpected things pop up, you have to have an emergency fund to be able to address it. Um, or you have some form of an investment where you can pull from, pull resources from in the event you need it. Or you may need to sell something or exchange something or return something to do it. Whatever you needed to do for the household, you did it. In this case, you're using that financial problem solving, your problem solving skills to be able to help an employer figure out their, their budgeting issues, figure out the, their plugs in their financial planning, um, help them to figure out where they're losing money so they can fix that problem, obviously. So you're using these skills 
in the household already, but you can now use them on your resume. You want to be able to address the budgeting. You say budgeting for a household, um, okay, allocating finance, budgeting and allocation, that's a skill. Financial problem solving, that's a skill. Tracking expenses and analysis. There are several, um, there's, there's actually ways for you to learn how to do financial planning. You can go on Udemy, you can go on Coursera, you can go on um, Skillshare. All three of those websites have courses that you can learn financial, either financial planning or financial analysis on. That's a skill you can pick up on pretty quickly. There's also QuickBooks that will teach you for free. I don't know if they still have it for free, but go to QuickBooks and register as a bookkeeper that's starting a service and they will teach you there is a course that they offer for free and when you're done with the course you become QuickBooks certified and you can offer bookkeeping services as an individual um, you can you know as a contractor you can offer those services as freelance or you can use those skills to be able to place them on a resume so you can get hired for bookkeeping services at the end of the day, it is not impossible. As a matter of fact, you already have what you need. And I want you to dig a little deeper and go to MentorShelly.com forward slash ETW and download the guide so you can go through and answer those questions so we can formulate and get some more of your skills documented so you can use that to help you put your resume together. At the end of the day, guys, I want you to know you, you 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 have more than you think you have to be able to get out there in the job market and be able to make a difference and be able to get your career started again in the financial industry. All right, guys, of course, I want to make sure that you have what you need. Go to MentorShelly.com forward slash ETW to get the the economic guide for ex wise or ex housewives or ex homemakers, whatever you, you know, whatever you actually go by. At the end of the day, I want you to know you have what you need to get started. Don't be afraid. This is not, you're not, you're not, impo you're not imposing or I know you may have imposter syndrome, but I need you to get over that. You have what you need. Go ahead and take action. All right. Go to MentorShelly.com forward slash EQW and download that guide. And of course, if you have additional questions, you go to MentorShelly.com forward slash contact where you can leave me a voicemail or an email message and I'm more than happy to return your voicemail email within 24 hours. At the end of the day, you have what you need and I'm here to help you um, to become a better version of yourself professionally so you know that you can truly enrich your own personal economy. All right, guys, take care. You have a good one.